as if one of our supply chains or one of another country's supply chains that we rely on collapsed, it could cause an unprecedented economic super collapse on a global scale. And that's how we could end up with this $85 trillion economic super collapse I'm predicting. $85 trillion being the value of the global economy. Because remember, our current supply chain is interconnected on a global scale. And if there is a single point of failure, the whole system is going to come collapsing down. Farming, banking, healthcare, oil and gas, tech, and so on. This isn't the first time I've warned Americans about this before. On May 11, 2020, I told my followers, the economy will not return to normal for years. There are serious constraints on supply. I issued another warning about my research on November 24, 2021. The supply chain difficulties will certainly grow worse. The remedies will take years and sometimes decades to implement. And yet another in 2022. Don't believe the happy talk about a temporary supply chain crisis. I'll say that again. The crisis will last for years with predictable negative effects on economic growth. But now things are even worse than ever before. And I fear this economic super collapse could hit American soil in the next 6 to 12 months. So this may be my last and final warning before it's too late. It's why I'm warning people around me it's only a matter of time before the world economy comes crashing down. Because when you talk about risk of catastrophic collapse, the risk increases with the size of scale. Look, whether you decide to listen to me today about how to prepare, whether or not you decide to get access to the information in this envelope, that's up to you. It's a free country. You can do what you want. You can even pretend you never heard me tell you any of this. But just know, Joe Biden certainly isn't going to come to your rescue. Take a look at this nine-second clip from the president. When do you think things will get back to normal? When do I think things will get back to normal? But my hope is by this time next year, we're going to be back to normal. That clip was taken over 18 months ago. It's up to you what you believe. But I can't bury my head in the sand and ignore all the facts. And the facts couldn't be more clear. So in just a moment, I'm going to explain how you can get access to this information inside the envelope as part of my super collapse preparation package. I'm going to talk about what to do to protect and even grow your wealth. Look, please understand, it brings me no joy to say this. And I hope the worst of what I'm warning of never comes to pass. But there's only one potential solution to this crisis, and it's going to take years. Recently, I spoke to a very well-informed CEO of a major corporation, and I asked him point blank. I said, your company must be looking ahead of some possible solution. Is there anything you can share? Well, I'm going to tell you the same thing he told me. He said, Jim, you have to understand that it took us 30 years to build these supply chains. We blew it up in three years, beginning in 2018, and you can't put it back together. But there is one thing we can do. It's not a quick fix, but it's our best and most sensible option. Our only way out is to build a new supply chain that eliminates the bad actors. We can't continue to allow our enemies like China or Russia or Iran to threaten consumers here on American soil. As the Wall Street Journal wrote, Russia's lengthening war with Ukraine will lead to a near doubling of inflation rates in rich countries. It's why the New York Times wrote, this is what happens when globalization breaks down. And why Barron's wrote, secure U.S. supply chains with allies and move out of China. Unfortunately, this solution could take years or even a decade to fully implement. And that CEO told me it will take at least 10 years to reconstruct the supply chains if we don't want to do it with China and globalization. But whether you realize it or not, that's the bet we're making as a nation. It's happening now. And when the dust settles, we're either going to have rolled out this new supply chain before a worst case scenario happens, or we're going to face whatever lies ahead from this $85 trillion economic super collapse. Now, maybe you're wondering how bad things could really get. Let me answer that question with another question. Do you remember your life at the beginning of the pandemic? Despite all of our freedoms we all hold so dear, an unelected official with the ear of the president recommended immediate lockdowns. And suddenly we heard demands like shelter in place or stay at home, backed up by the threat of arrest. Large swaths of the economy ground to a halt. Looting took over our towns and cities because so many businesses were shut down People were emboldened to take to the streets. But if most Americans don't have access to enough food, water, or other necessary supplies, do you really believe our streets and our businesses won't see more violence? It's why gun sales keep hitting all-time highs as more and more Americans prepare for whatever lies ahead. And while I hope the worst of what I'm warning in my urgent new book never comes to pass, I don't suggest you rely on hope to protect yourself and your family. I'm certainly not. Here's how I'm ensuring my family's well-being. First, I would suggest stocking up on essentials, just like I've done. 
I have a fully finished area in the basement of one of my properties, the address of which I keep totally private. It provides me with a warehousing area for months worth of canned foods and other non-perishable provisions. That's important. Don't stop with a three-day supply like the CDC recommends. Make sure you have enough water, basic food, and toiletries to last at least three months, and keep them in a safe area where they can sit without damage or spoiling. I would also recommend buying several large capacity freezers. I already have three and I may continue purchasing more. If you have the means, consider installing alternate energy solutions in case of a worst case scenario. I've already installed the largest non-commercial solar power system in New England on my property. If you can, have alternative sources of power generation on your property. I've also dug three wells, planted abundant gardens, and built a significant greenhouse. But whatever you decide, do recognize that none of it will matter if you're not getting accurate information about what to expect in the coming days. Like I said, to be able to make the right decisions during a crisis, you need to lean on someone. So if that's not me, you should find another well-connected person you can trust, ideally someone who's previously held a position of power in our government. But if you want to learn what's inside this envelope and see what I know, right now is your chance. See, I've gone ahead and published this information I'm holding here in this envelope inside my newest book. It has brand new proof of the unfolding situation and inside level details on how it will play out. Urgent preparation report number one. Buy this asset after securing your family's food and energy. As the economy collapses and the shelves are bare, the government will respond by printing even more money. When it does, the value of the dollar will be destroyed through inflation. But 5,000 years of history proves that one item, gold, outlasts every other currency as a form of money. And I believe that economic collapse occurring right now will send gold skyrocketing over the next six months. That's why I'll send you my urgent report called The Perfect Physical Gold Portfolio. Everything you need to know about buying the right kind of physical gold as part of my super collapse preparation package. You'll find everything you need to know about investing in gold before the price blasts through the ceiling, including, is gold safe to invest in? How much should I invest in precious metals? What metals should I buy and what should I avoid? What are the best places to buy gold and other precious metals? What are the safest ways to store gold to avoid theft or government confiscation? And much more. Plus, I'll also send you urgent preparation report number two, my Biden Bucks protection plan. I haven't mentioned it yet, but during my research, I came across a troubling executive order that President Biden just signed. See, every time there's an economic crisis, the government responds with massive new programs to try and control the economy and its citizens. In 2008, it was bailouts of big banks and new government agencies to regulate the financial industry. This time, it will be much worse. I've uncovered a plan for U.S. government cryptocurrency I call Biden Bucks, that I believe the government will unveil during this economic collapse to control your money and manage the societal fallout. By the time this program is announced, it will be nearly impossible for everyday Americans like you to protect their wealth and keep their privacy, which is why I've created another urgent report to get you prepared ahead of time. Inside this new report, you'll get step-by-step -step details on what these Biden bucks are, why they'll be used during this collapse, and how to outsmart this sinister program by creating one, an off-the-grid fortune Secure $1.1 million in wealth inside a soda can safe. Two, saving your freedoms. Have liquidity and spendable wealth without using Biden bucks. And three, growing your personal wealth. You'll get possible investment upside as events unfold. And four, ensuring you maintain your wealth regardless of external conditions. Building your own off-the-grid portfolio now will protect you from the government surveillance state coming during the economic super collapse. Biden bucks testing is underway. The digital dollar could be rolled out soon. Before it's too late, make sure to protect yourself and your retirement savings. You'll find everything you need in this urgent report as part of my super collapse preparation package. But that's not all, because you'll also get urgent preparation report number three. Secure this secret off the grid asset. You see, I've learned of another little appreciated asset that's a liquid form of wealth. It can't be tracked or traced. It's completely legal and easy to find if you know where to look. Over time, its value has steadily grown, but very few people know anything about its investment potential. You're about to be one of the few. I believe you must include this secret asset in any off-the-grid portfolio.